So in this video we're going to cover wire preparation and basic handling of the Wago lever nuts compared to using the twist type connectors. Okay so now we're going to take some time to take a look at the differences between handling um, and using the different Wago series lever nuts, the 221's and the 222's and then the twist type wire nuts that are seen in a lot of applications with regards to commercial residential and just see the differences and and how the handling is done and things like that and one of the first things you look at is when you're looking at the um, sheets instruction sheets for handling wire nuts as opposed to lever nuts is um, strip length so they do give you various lengths depending upon the type of wire nut that you're using um, but the one thing about that is you're basically just taking the wire nut taking your conductor and kind of guesstimating well if I'm gonna do it with just insertion maybe about this long or this long who knows but they do give you the instructions that say it's a certain length but no way to measure that on here so it's kind of a guess is it you know should I come in about this far um, I don't know I've seen them various lengths in different applications where they're shorter than this even longer and of course the danger with them being longer is once you insert certain twist you actually have some of the conductor exposed so that can be an issue um, when especially when you're talking about applications where the ground connection is just exposed there's no insulation and you can see where if this was installed and then shoved back into the junction box where these two could come into contact that's the beauty of the uh, lever nuts from Wago you have this strip, strip length measurement on here on the side of it on the 221's and then on here with the um, uh, 222's it tells you specifically or shows you specifically this is the length so if you had a pair of wire strippers like this you could just come up measure it and then say okay that's my strip length and then you're finished and you know that's the correct length for going into here um, if you have something like this that Wago offers and of course I could just set it to whatever the strip length measurement is on here and then I could just set that on this device and then just come in and strip it to the correct length so that's number one as far as the handling and of course you know with everybody uh, handling these things different people handling these things you know you get different lengths which again could be a huge problem when you're dealing with the conductors and inserting them okay so another thing we want to take a look at is when you're actually handling the conductors once you've got the proper strip length or what you hope is with the twist type connectors um, you know how do you insert or connect these wires together so for an example um, as I mentioned previously you know if you have a, a stranded conductor and a solid conductor that you have to bring together which is oftentimes what happens um, you have to strip them to different lengths with the twist type connectors so and then the next process is not only do you have to strip them to different lengths depending upon the conductor type but then you also have to insert differently so they want you to insert where the the stranded connector it goes in first and this way when you start that twisting action it wraps around the solid conductor because obviously that one's not going to wrap around so not only do you have to worry about strip length now I have to worry about am I inserting them you know correctly um, if I have one that's a little bit closer to the same length am I inserting it first but then of course when you push in to ensure that the two connections are being made then you're as you're twisting you know the solid conductor can slide up and things like that okay um, so you know with the different types of conductors you know it's one thing to consider okay how are they going to connect together when I start twisting this action if I have a solid conductor and a stranded um, cable or connection conductor uh, what's going to happen with that is I start this twisting action I'm going to start twisting and damaging the stranded connections on here the stranded conductor itself so again whether it's a 222 or a 221 um, I really don't care about that because or those aren't my concerns because here now I have the same strip length regardless of whether it's a solid or stranded I'm not worried about well the twisting action or how do I jam it in there do I put one in first or how long or anything like that I simply take it open up the connections and clamp down on it and I'm finished and that was a solid here's a stranded again I can just insert and clamp down 
course the other issue is when we come back to the twist type let's say okay I know or I think I know I put these incorrectly and you can see just by doing that I wasn't like a hundred percent paying attention I'm twisting now but what I can also see is this stranded conductor is still exposed but now internally I have no idea is it connected properly are they wrapping around each other is it going to hold I mean it is right now but as I start to jam this into the junction box will that stay with the 221's especially you can see clearly okay here's my connection points the conductor is actually inserted properly it's um, terminated properly and of course the reusability of these is simple you know I can just open this up remove and then replace and I'm just handling that one conductor if I needed to do something like that with a twist style well then I have to remove this completely from all of them and then you can see look how that's wrapped around there okay maybe not the best connection in the world in fact the strands there's only a few actually making contact here really well and then it just kind of wraps around the insulation what good is that so again from a handling standpoint and trusting the connectivity and what you're doing and seeing what's happening uh, with the connection points you can obviously see how the 221's and even the 222's are a better solution for that um, the next thing we're going to take a look at here is you know once you've connected everything uh, inside a junction box now what are we looking at from a handling standpoint